everyone so today um i just wanted to have a kind of chill chatty video this time around um about how to overcome or how to deal with self-doubt as an artist um everyone no matter what you do uh, no matter what field you're in there is always a time when you're going to experience self-doubt or wondering if you're um if you what you do is good enough and i i too <laughs> like everyone else experience this phenomenon um it's not it's not something easy to deal with and especially if you're if you feel as if you're alone it really isn't something that can you that you can get over in a day or two you know it takes time and for me this piece that i'm painting is a way i try to deal with my self-doubt uh, i guess me i don't know if i'm normal but i, I dealt with it by telling myself that by by really speaking it into being that hey um even though i feel this way even though i feel like my work isn't good enough or isn't where i want it to be i'm still good enough and i was like i'm gonna prove it to myself by painting this piece <laughs> and um that's basically how stardust came about i was just so upset that why can't i paint the way how that artist paints or why can't i create um environmental designs the way how that artist do it why why just why and i was like hey you know what i'm just gonna do it and see what happens <laughs> and that's basically what what i did with this piece um it to me it turned out pretty good it really did um and i guess maybe not everyone will take that approach but even still even still i think everyone should try to take the approach where you tell yourself that you have to believe in yourself that where you are right now is the place that you need to be as an artist it's it's a journey it really is and it, it's unfair to yourself to wonder why you're not good as good as a particular artist when that artist has been doing art for more than 50 years or 10 years and you just started like last year like come on that isn't fair to yourself to, to be to be upset at where you are it's going to take time and for most of us for those who have been drawing from their young if you were to look at your your art pieces that you did when you were a child you would see a difference in terms of the art you're producing now so it shows that there is some amount of growth so imagine you 10 years down the line continuing to do the art continuing to do art every day like you are now and you are definitely going to see some amount of growth you're definitely going to improve one way or the other and there is no there's, there's no other way um, around that it, it just takes time everything takes time and a lot of the time especially me i want to see the results no i want to be good no but gosh like sometimes you just have to slow down and understand that life is in the waiting life is no so it's important for us as artists or as people in general to just enjoy where we are now because um if you don't enjoy where you are now i really believe that that can reflect in the artwork that you create people may be able to see your artwork and know that hey this person probably was feeling down or this person was feeling really happy by the type of work you produce and what are you trying to communicate to the people that that um you want to show your art to do you want them to think that you're sad all the time or do you want them to think um to know that you're happy or that you're joyful and for your own peace of mind i think it's important to to try to to build your happiness as an artist to just enjoy where you are now and 
it's not easy it really isn't especially in the first instance when you're trying to get over self-doubt you look at yourself and you're like hey i'm not painting the way i'd like to i can't i don't understand anatomy the way i like to i don't have a lot of followers as much as i'd like to and yeah it's it it is kind of it is kind of it can be a lot i really sad but you just need to i think we all just need to emphasize the things that we should be grateful for because the moment you start looking at the things that you don't have you start to feel really bad about it you start to feel really sad but if we were to look at the things that we do have and to appreciate and be grateful for the things that we do have now then a lot of the things that we were worrying about or we were doubting ourselves with wouldn't matter as much if we were to just say hey right now i can paint trees i might not be able to paint people but i can paint trees wow Wow. (laughs) like be grateful that you are able to paint something right you're definitely it's important to definitely work towards what you want if you want to paint people work towards it but don't beat 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 down on yourself just because you can't paint people like come on you can't paint something you can draw something there's something you can do and a lot of the times we are busy just chasing after um other artists work or trying to be like them when there are other people who are trying to be like us isn't that just amazing that while you're there doubting yourselves somebody's also there looking at you and wishing wishing that they could be like you you know so it's important to just try to see yourself in a different light like it's good to acknowledge the things that you're good at while working towards the working towards the person or the artist you like to become there is nothing wrong in that and i think for your for your sanity it's important to do so important to be grateful for where you are now while looking to the future and working towards the future working towards becoming a better person so stardust for me was was just that i for a long time i really wanted to paint something that was fantasy themed that had a magical element to it and really <laughs> stardust didn't even have a plan i just know i wanted to paint this mountain with some trees and i was like hey let's put a light th- that shines down on a traveler and i was like hey why don't i put some little stardust in the light and let it sh- um fall on the trap i was like wow <laughs> genius <laughs> um you know like i kind of like that almost like the almost like the stardust is there just blessing the traveler for his journey you know i don't know <laughs> but to me it was just so so beautiful and i thought about it and i said this little light this little light that is shining through this darkness because the at least the foreground of the piece is really dark but that one light is shining through this darkness as a sense of hope hope for the future hope for what is to come for that traveler but hope for what is to come for me as an artist and for you too as an artist or as a person no matter where you are in your life there is always going to be one glimmer of hope one one thing that you can always look towards no matter how bleak it is i definitely believe so but god yeah i'm telling you like when when things are bad like things are really bad you just sometimes you just don't even see that one glimmer of hope but in time you'll definitely see it and i really hope for all our sakes that we see it earlier than later i ended up putting some glowy butterflies in this piece i really do like that element it just made it so much more magical than it than it was before i wish i had done something else that made it more fantasy like but for now this is just the beginning of a new era for me wow (laughs) okay guys um i don't necessarily have much more to say on this so i want to thank you all for watching this video and just stopping by to chill with me and to talk about stuff that 
um, concern us as artists. Um, I am writing a blog post on this on a similar topic relating to this piece. However, I'll be diving more in depth on the process of how I painted Stardust and what was just going through my mind while painting it. So I hope we can... Oh, the link to that will definitely be in the description. So please like, comment, subscribe. I will really appreciate it if you do, especially if you like this type of video. Just comment down below and tell me what you like to see next. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and see you next week. Yes, goodbye.